Hey guys, Omerko here, self-taught web developer with another tutorial for Angular Material series. This time we will use tabs component from Angular Material and you can see those right here on my screen. So we will create these simple tabs which you can go through and select different tabs that you wish. The component itself is quite straightforward and we don't need to use any customization, we can simply use the component through our HTML and we should see the same result here. Before we start you should know that next to the YouTube I'm also publishing courses on Skillshare as well. There you can find many different uh, real life examples with variety of different technologies. So on my Skillshare profile you can create a to-do application, tic-tac-toe application, a landing page, also password generator, weather application and also uh, to-do rest application as well. Next to that, if you are not signed up with the Skillshare, you can use my link down in the description of this video and start using Skillshare for free right now. Now let's start with this tutorial. First of all, as usual, we will create a component where we will use our tabs. So here I will use ng, g for generate, c for component, and I will use components slash tabs. Once my component is generated, I can open up my app.component.html file, and here I will first of all hide this table uh, from the last video. If you wish to watch that video, you will have a link down in the description. And after the table, I will use tabs as a comment here, and also I will use app tabs component that we just generated and I will set here end of tabs as well. As we plan to use tabs from Angular Material, we need to import a proper module for those. So in my app.module.ts file, I will first of all move my tabs component that we generated to a tab here and here now I can import my mat tabs module and I will import this module from at angular slash material slash not table but tabs. Also be sure to pass this mad tabs module down in imports array and you are good to go. As I mentioned to use tabs it is quite simple so I can open up my tabs that h well that component that html file and here we will first create the div to center our tabs this div will hold the style attribute with width of 500 pixel and also margin will be 50 pixels top and bottom out of or left and right. Now inside, if you wish to create the tabs, well, you need to specify the tab group from Angular. And to do that, you can use mat tab group element and that is pretty much it. Whatever you pass inside, well, it should be your own tabs. So to create one tab, we will use mat tab element and this tab itself can hold up text for it to pass, to pass a text for the title of the tab we must pass a label and the label can be first as it is a first tab you can use your own custom label here inside of this tab i will create a paragraph with some lorem ipsum text the text is too long so i will go view and word wrap so you could see the whole text on the screen and what we can do is copy this math tab multiple times but let's change this lorem ipsum i will generate the new lorem ipsum text for this tab and new lorem ipsum text for this tab as well so we could see some different text here as well so lorem ipsum and that's good and instead of this label of first i will use second and third and that's it when you visit your local host, you should be seeing something like this. You have your own three tabs here, you can click through those and it will automatically move you through those. We have a bit different content inside, but that was the idea. Now, if you have any questions, be sure to ask those down below and I will surely answer you. Also, next to the YouTube channel, I'm also publishing courses on Skillshare as well. So go into my Skillshare profile and there you can find many different real life examples with variety of different technologies. If you are not signed up with Skillshare, you can use my link down in the description of this video and start using Skillshare for free right now. But this will be all guys. Thank you all for watching. If you liked what you saw, please click like and subscribe as I am posting new content weekly. Thank you once again and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.